Should you do an open application to Oxbridge? No. This is my personal opinion and I think many people would agree with it and I've also got a few stats to back up my point. Just to clarify, both Oxford and Cambridge are made up of individual colleges and your college is where you'll be eating and sleeping throughout your degree, so basically where you'll be living. Your course and your college are independent, meaning that you'll be going to lectures or labs if you have them with people from many different colleges, but some colleges might not offer some courses. In general, the smaller colleges might not offer some of the smaller courses. As part of your UCAS application, you have to put down a college and that's a college you'll be applying to and that's a college that will interview you if they decide to give you an interview. But if you can't choose one, you can decide to do an open application and that means that you'll be allocated a college at random. The allocation system aims to even out the distribution of the applications at the different colleges. In practice, this means that if you do an open application, you're more likely to end up at an undersubscribed college, and undersubscribed colleges tend to be not as nice as some of the other colleges. They sometimes they are just underrated. But some colleges are definitely better than others. Some have very good and cheap accommodation, others are very bad and expensive, some are big, some are small, some are rich and some are poor. So if you do an open application, you're more likely to end up at an undersubscribed college and I would argue that often this means that it is a less nice college. Before I made this video, I just wanted to check that what I'm saying is actually correct. So I did a bit of research. Cambridge publishes its admissions statistics uh, online. Anyone can have a look and it tells you how many open applications each college receives. On Wikipedia, you can see the wealth of each college and I put the two things together to find out if there is a relationship between how wealthy college is and how many open applications it receives. I looked at the application data from both 2018 and 2019 and combined them and the wealth estimates from Wikipedia are from 2019. And here you can see the graph that I made. I'll just explain what this graph is showing. The y-axis is the net assets of the college per student, which is a measure of how wealthy the college is adjusted for the number of students at that college. And the x-axis is the number of open applications it received in total in 2018 and 2019. As you can see on the graph, it looks a bit as if the poorer colleges have more open applications. But to be sure that there is actually a relationship, I did a bit of statistical analysis. I did a Spearman rank correlation test and I got a p-value of 0 0.002. Basically, this is statistically very significant and there is a significant negative correlation between how wealthy a college is and how many open applications it receives. What does this all mean? Well, if you do an open application, you're more likely to end up at a poorer college, but this isn't necessarily bad because a college doesn't have to be rich to be nice and you'll almost definitely have a great time regardless of which college you're at. Keep in mind that even the poor colleges are still pretty rich. However, the poorer colleges tend to have more expensive accommodation and might be less generous when it comes to giving out grants or scholarships. Keep in mind that I only looked at data for Cambridge and for 2018 and 2019. So it's possible that this doesn't apply to every year or that this doesn't apply to Oxford, but I doubt that. There's one more point which I want to mention, which is will an open application affect your chances of getting in? First of all, you need to know that the college that you end up being allocated to, if you do an open application, doesn't know if you did an open application, so they can't discriminate against you based on whether you did an open application. Furthermore, both Oxford and Cambridge claim that doing an open application doesn't affect your chances of getting in. This is probably true because the whole application system is quite intense, but there is definitely still an element of luck in the application process. But I would argue doing an open application shouldn't affect your luck and therefore it shouldn't affect your chances of getting in. But if you do get in, it's good to get into one of the nicer colleges which is why I suggest you don't do an open application so you know where you'll get in if you do get in. That's why I would suggest you make a list of all the colleges at Cambridge or Oxford, wherever you're applying, and cross out all the ones you don't want to go to. And if you still can't choose, then randomly choose between the ones that are remaining. I'll be making a video soon about how to choose a college and I'll also do reviews of different colleges at Cambridge. Uh, so if you want to see more of this, please subscribe and if any questions or comments or whatever, 
put them down and I'll get back to you. Thank you.